without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dubbed it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. Take the power from me. SMT Nation, we back. We're doing Dish Project Genesis testing today. Where we test on the native network, by the way. So let me give you guys kind of a view of what's going on here. Uh, back behind those trees is a tower site. I don't even know if you guys can tell just because of all the trees there. But um, anyways, uh, we're, we're close. We're like a quarter mile away, maybe. All right, maybe, um, maybe a fifth of a mile away. Uh, so we're very, very close. Uh, but we are connected to a uh, newly constructed uh, Project Genesis site, Dish Wireless. And based on the speeds, I kind of know what to expect. Really, the only two bands that I connect to when on Dish Native is N71, 600 megahertz. I'll see a 10 by 10 slice of that. And then the other channel I'll see is N66. And I'll see a 20 by 20 slice of that. And this is typically what I see for a performance. All right, 228 down, 33 up. We've got a ping of 49 and a little bit of jitter at 14. Let's do a second test. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up the service mode so we can actually see which bands we're connected to just to confirm it. But that's what I expect. Usually when it's only N71, I'll get between like 20 and 70 megabits down and about 10 or 15 up. And then the when I'm connected to both N71 and N66, this is what I get. 200 plus on the down and 30 plus on the up. Okay, so that's where we're at. This is Dish Native. And what I'm gonna do actually is, just to kind of confirm it, let me see if I can pull up the dialer code, star pound, 0011 pound. All right, you'll see it pulls up this. And we're gonna go to service mode. Let's see what we're connected to. Does it say? Nope, it doesn't say there, so I'm gonna have to go back. And we're gonna go to SIM 2. And we got the 10 megahertz of the N71. That's all it's showing right now, I think. And I don't see anything else right now. So yeah, I'm gonna have to, oops. I'm gonna have to go back to this and do a pull. Sometimes you gotta put a push on the network. 223 down, 40 up, 48 ping, three jitter. All right, we're going to jump back to that here in a second. Just so we can confirm we're getting the N66. That seems a little bit too fast for N71, in my opinion. All right, let's go to SIM 2. There's our 10 megahertz of N71. And 20 megahertz of N66. So that's it. And it doesn't play nicely with speed test. Uh, the Galaxy S22 is a nightmare. When it comes to software, it's just not very good. My least favorite device that I own this year. Anyways, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to get some lunch. So I'm going to drive an additional like half mile away. So I'm going to test in the parking lot there, and then I'm going to test inside the restaurant once I get there. All right, keep it locked. Here we are at the traffic light in the parking lot where the restaurant is. The speed is 49 millisecond ping. 2 millisecond jitter, 184 megabits downlink, 33 megabits uplink. All right, folks, we are now inside the restaurant, and we're going to speed test just on a bench here on the edge of the store, pretty close to a window, so that might make a difference. 49 ping with a jitter of 2 millisecond. Got a nice, stable connection. The latency is not great, but at least the jitter is low. All right, for the downlink speed, we came in around the 165 megabits range. And the uplink looks to be in the teens, around 16 megabits per second. So we've got a solid performance from a little bit of range. We are definitely connected to the N71 and also the N66. Alone, the N71 would not probably be able to produce this type of speed from this type of distance. Overall, I think we're pretty close. I think we're right at about a mile mark or so. So getting it indoors is pretty good. Uh, you will see the 10 megahertz of N71. And we're looking to identify if we're picking up the N66. Unfortunately, I think it actually, like, lost, well, the uh, the log, the connection log here in this menu. If the, the pull disconnects on the network, then you lose the aggregated bandwidth. 
And of course, now Ookla is not working well. All right, so that's fantastic. I don't know, Ookla and the Samsung Galaxy S22, not a good combination. So we'll run it again. All right, and, and we'll see if we can confirm this test to be the same. You never want to do something just once because it could be a fluke. All right, but it looks pretty much the same here. We're getting about 160 down and about 15 up, up 16 up. Ping time is around 50 milliseconds, and then the jitter is about 9 milliseconds. Definitely connected to native dish still. We did not move over to AT&T or anything like that. What do you guys think? Thoughts and opinions, welcome down below. You know, the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, comment, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. All links for the channel are in the description box. Big shout out to my patrons and my YouTube members for providing support and allowing content on this channel to be made possible. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.